listen up. If you want to be able to route some shit, route your mic into your DAW. Route your uh, fucking mic out of your DAW into your friend's ears on Discord. Route your desktop audio into your DAW. And then record it, sample it, play it to your friends. Play audio from your DAW to your friends. This is how you do it. Go to VB Audio, get Matrix. You can get Coconut if you want some more inputs, more outputs. You don't really need it, but I like to use it because it makes me feel like a like a professional special guy. So, what you want to do, download it. Once you got it downloaded, you're going to want to input the devices they're using into these two fields here. Windows devices and ASIO devices. If you're using an audio interface, all you got to do is put your ASIO device. If you're using like USB mic headphones, you know, put the mic into in and the headphones into out. In my case, I have a audio interface with 16 inputs and 18 outputs. So you're just going to select whichever one clo most closely matches your setup. Most of you, 32 is going to be plenty. So just control click to select device like it says. It's like whatever ASIO device is your interface. My case, focus right. USB ASIO is the driver. Click on that. If you have shit plugged in, you're gonna instantly know it works by if you can see shit moving. Like I got my mic plugged in to input two. You see it moves every time I talk. Now, next step, enable one of these VAIOs. These VAIOs are your playback device in Windows and your recording device in Windows. VAIO1 is going to be out one and in one. I'm going to enable that one. Next, enable a virtual ASIO. Whichever one, doesn't really matter. I'm not sure if there's a performance impact. I'm going to use 128 because like plenty of ins, plenty of outs for whatever I want to do. Next, go to your DAW. Whichever virtual ASIO you put online, select that as your device. 128, bam. Now, nothing's happening. You got to do some routing now. So let's say we want to bring our mic into our DAW. First, you're going to want to click on matrix up here. You're going to see left side is our sources slash inputs. ASIO32 is going to be our interface, remember? VAO is going to be our playback device, a recording device. VSEO128 is going to be our DAW. We're going to bring our mic into our DAW. You're going to route input 2 into output 1 or whichever one. doesn't matter. I'm going to do 1 in this case. Now, it's routed into 128, but nothing's happening in our DAW. So, we got to fucking select the input in our DAW. I'm using FL. This should work for any other DAW. If you know how to use it, I'm just an FL guy. So we're going to select input 1. And we're going to see our mics Our mics in our DAW. It's going out of the master. But I can't hear it. can't hear our master. What's going on? Remember, you got to route all the audio here. So our ears. What's our ears? Our ears are going to be output 1 and output 2 of our audio interface usually if you have headphones enabled somewhere up here like let's see let's just enable and out just for example the windows device the focus right windows device if you go in here you're going to see win one that's going to be our ears but in this case my ears are here because i have an interface so we're going to want to our master. Our master is going in to output 1 and 2. Output 1 and 2 is here. You can see every time the master moves, these two channels move. You're going to want to route these two into our ears, which is output 1 and 2 of my interface. Bam. Now I can hear it in my headphones that are plugged into my interface. Let's say I didn't want to just be able to hear my own voice from my mic being routed into my DAW, but I want other people to be able to hear it. You could just take one and two, which is the master, and then route it 
to VAIO, which is going to be your recording device here, and then use that as your Discord device. Just by doing the same thing you did to your ears. Bam. Everything that goes into this master channel is going to now go into out one and go into Discord if you're using it as your device. But let's say we only wanted the people to be able to hear our mic. We can just change one of these inserts, maybe the one that your mic's going into, to a different out. Let's say three and four. Now, if we go in here, we're going to see that everything that goes on in insert one is going out to three and four, and we can route that into our recording device instead. So now, everything that goes on in insert one is going out into three and four, and then into the recording device. We turn down the master, it's still going to work. I can't hear it, but the people that are listening to this through Discord would still be able to hear it. And that'll work in any circumstance. If you want somebody to be able to hear a specific mixer track, you just create a new out and then route it into VAIO1. It's going to go to this recording device. Let's say, next thing, we want to be able to route our desktop audio into our DAW. You're going to want to use IN1 as your playback device. Like your speakers here. If you have headphones, you're going to set those to your default, usually. Instead, we're going to set the matrix in one as our default. And then anything we play on our desktop is going to go into, where is it? VAIO one on the left side. So you can see this left, right speaker test is playing. It's going from the left and the right. It's going into N1 and into, well, I don't know if it's in, whatever. It's going into these two channels. One of them's left, one of them's right. We want to put that into our DAW. All we got to do, same thing as our mic, ride it from the left side into up here, one of the channels on our DAW. In this case, I'm just going to put it into in output 9 and 10. So we go into our DAW and we select 9 and 10 as the input. You're going to see we're getting the desktop audio to go into this insert into the master. We're going to be able to hear it in the master because it's routed to the master. If we wanted to not route our desktop audio through the master, we could also create a new set of outs and then route it directly to our ears if we wanted. So our desktop is separate from our master. Or we could route it into our recording device so that people we're talking to can hear our desktop audio. Or anything else. Super versatile. You can route it wherever. It's pretty much the gist of it. You can do all kinds of shit with this. I can imagine any setup you want. With a DAW and Matrix, you can you can route it. That's pretty much it. Hope this helped whoever it needed to help. And have a good day.